But this is also the unofficial start of the swimming and boating season. And if you're one of those who plan to be on the lake uh, this weekend, Fox 13 News reporter Chris Arnold spoke with first responders about how they plan to keep you safe this summer. He attracted uh, people and was willing to help people at all times. Lino Franco remembers his son, Calum, fondly. He's a humble guy, too. It was here at Deer Creek Reservoir on June 29, 2011, that Franco's life would change forever. He says his 17-year-old son was with his two brothers and two cousins out in the water. When Caleb cramped up, um, started sliding beneath the water and then um, slipped underneath the water. I was just feeling like he, he was not alive. I just felt in my heart like uh, he is probably drowned. Caleb's body was recovered about 90 minutes later. Well, the water temperature down here is re still really cold. You can't survive very long in this water without a life jacket. Which is why local responders and Intermountain Healthcare trauma leaders are teaming up to keep Utah safe in and around the water as we head into the unofficial kickoff to summer this weekend. Today, they gave away free life jackets to kids and talked about safety protocols just outside of Deer Creek Island Resort. The Center for Disease Control and Prevention says nearly 4,000 adults and children die from unintentional drownings every year. Here in Utah in 2020, there were 45 unintentional drownings, the highest in a decade, according to the Utah Department of Health. Over the last five years, an average of 33 Utahns have died from drowning. I know a lot of people grow up around water swimming and believe that they're strong swimmers, and, and that may be true, but there are a lot of things that are not in your control. So I can go out and it can be just beautiful, and within 30 minutes, things can change drastically. As for Franco? I don't, th I don't think there's a day, uh, uh, time goes by that when I drive past on this road, I don't think about that event. He says that if his son had been wearing a life jacket that day, he believes he'd still be alive. If our message can help anybody that would save one life or an injury to somebody by taking precautions for water safety, then this is all worth it. In Heber City, Chris Arnold, Fox 13 News, Utah.